our channel today, you guys. We are so excited. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a fun video, you guys, and yeah. I have wanted to record this for a long, long time, and I'm so excited. We are finally doing it, finally Mom. Finally doing it. Do you wanna tell them what we are doing today? We are making one of our favorite, if not our favorite, sugar cookie recipe. We're gonna have to come up with a name, but yeah, really. Glamorous Glenna's Sugar Cookies, <laughs> or Glenna's Sugar Cookies. Glenna's Famous Sugar Cookies. I don't know. They actually came in a small little cookbook. It was kind of Swedish. I didn't know where you actually got this recipe yeah, from. Yeah, it was just That's a small, where? just a small little cookbook. Uh, Swedish. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love that. She's been making them for years, you guys. I actually have to show you. So she sent me a picture of her little note card for the recipe that she yeah. had for years and years. What's so fun about this, as you can tell, like one of the children took this recipe to school, and so by the side, they doubled everything, and so in little pencils, oh, that was that yeah, that was like three cups, two cups, and you can see their little writing. They wrote something over here, then they erased it. That's so cute. So that brings back a lot of memories That's too. That's so darling. So. Oh, I can't even tell you all the memories we have eating these sugar cookies. Yeah. It's just the best. We got all of our ingredients out here. Look how fun. So I'm gonna come around here. We even got our fresh little flowers here. My mom's wearing her cute pink shirt. Cause we usually do pink frosting on these sugar That's cookies. Right. Yeah. If you guys saw our video yesterday with that pink cake, Cake, the cherry frosting, we love putting that frosting oh, on these sugar cookies. That's perfect. Yeah, we were all out of it from the cake, so I actually whipped up just a cream cheese frosting. any kind of frosting on these fine. but yeah. today we're making the dough and it is divine should we jump into it mom let's jump into it Bert. we're ready okay you tell us what to do so first of all you guys and I'm sure most of you know this we're gonna cream together our sugar yes and our shortening it's kind of unique I, I feel like not a lot of recipes call for Crisco nowadays they or shortening do they? but this is you know classic yeah. and that's what we've always made it with so we I went and found some Crisco yeah so we're not gonna change it today <laughs> And you these, can experiment around. Yeah, but you know what? These, you know, cookies are not healthy, so we're gonna use the Crisco. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, I'm sorry. We dip into that ooh, brand new Crisco. Oh yeah. It says a cup. You better make sure it's she a cup. is filling that packet of bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just gonna, you know, gently press it down I'm and get those make it so precise. My mom's such a neat baker. Okay, there's our cup. There we go. Okay. Exact. Exactly. There we go. <laughs> there it is. And our sugar calls for one and a half cup sugar. Mm -hmm. I was thinking it was at least one, but you need that other half. You need that extra little sugar. Yeah. Too. So here it comes. Remember, we don't measure over the pan. <laughs> Told you that before. <laughs> so if you didn't look the last we'll time. Our dill dip. <laughs> oh yeah, dill dip. <laughs> for you that are new to our channel, my mom makes the most amazing dill dip and <laughs> Let's just say that is a video to remember. <laughs> yeah, that is a video to remember, but we won't remember that right now. Here's our other half. Okay. These are sugar cookies after yeah, all. Yeah, we need the sugar. You gotta have that sugar in there. You bakers out there, you know this. <laughs> We're gonna cream this together now. Okay, and you guys, we have a little mixer with one beater, so we're crossing our fingers, it goes well. <laughs> It's all creamed together. Now what, Mom? Three eggs. Three eggs. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> okay. Now, we're also gonna put our flavors. One of you actually sent me these darling measuring spoons, and I can't so remember who it was. So if it was you, please comment down below because we need to say thank you. They're so darling. Perfect for today. I know, we so, so these. cute. Oh, perfect. Okay. And then, as I recall, it's a half a teaspoon of a uh, lemon. And Brittany and I think is actually the lemon that is kind of the little bit of magic in this recipe. Oh, for right? sure. It just has a hint of lemon flavoring yes. to the cookie. Anyway, but we think that's kind of the secret. Yes, of for these sure. Lemon cookies. So we wanted to share that with you all. So. All right, guys, cameraman was called in with the... Girls are baking some cookies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on, 
Oh, you gotta show. My mom just creamed this, all the wet ingredients together. Ooh. Now we're doing the dry. Gotta do the yes. dry. That's the good stuff. That's two cups now of flour. Mm -hmm. And we need three. Three cups. Now we're gonna add our baking soda. What is the difference between powder and soda? I don't know, Jared. Mm. One starts with a P, one starts with a P. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is a difference, though. I know. You need, you know I, I, actually, I don't know. If you need, you guys know. Oh, no, no, no. I think half teaspoon of that. Yeah, right. Half teaspoon of salt. Okay, this should be it. And should we measure over my hand so we don't do it over Let's the bowl? Do that. <laughs> no, yes. Pretty good job. You remembered. Yeah, Mom, I'm learning. Oh, you don't need it. Look, all salt. this extra salt would have been in the mm -hmm. bowl. There you mm -hmm. go. Does that look good? Yeah, let's just level it off a little. Okay, there we go. Okay. Perfect. Should I throw over my shoulder for good luck? Yeah. Actually, I don't want to clean it up. So. Yeah, that's so hard. So, you guys, we like to mix the dry ingredients together. You know, you can just put it in with the other, but I don't know. I just kind of feel like this gets this stirred up a little better. You're such a professional baker, Mom before we add it to the other. Well, you know, I've been baking these for a while. <laughs> My mom was just saying how much she loves this cute blue bowl. So our neighbor, Thea, is darling. And she actually gave us this last really? week. Yeah. Yeah. Super cool. Very so nice of her. I know, it's so springy. It's, it's so very beautiful. Springy. Yeah, we love it. Thank you, Thea. And our <laughs> lemon yellow. And we're mixing them together now. <laughs> Let's not go. <laughs> Everywhere. So for someone who's not a baker like me, why are you stirring it and not whipping it like the other thing? We'll whip it. Oh, you whip it later. Okay. Yeah, we yeah I just don't want it to fly out everywhere. Yeah, with it being Got dry. It. You guys, okay. I really want to get a KitchenAid. Our kitchen is not very big, as you can tell, so I, <laughs> I haven't gotten one, but I won't. What are you talking one. about? Here's our kitchen tour. <laughs> I haven't gotten them, but I really feel like we need, like, I probably need one for how much stuff we always You would use it a lot. I would. So we got it all mixed up. Ours this is was what a, it should look like. Yeah, it was a little beaded, just because I think I only have the one mixer. Yeah, so I kind of mixed it together with the spatula, and now yes. it's looking just like it should my mom's side. Just like it should, you know, it's kind of almost like Play-Doh consistency. Yeah, it's a thick dough. It's a thick dough because, you know, they use it for molding and things like that, too. Oh. So, <laughs> now, pretty. the tricky thing now is not eating the dough. <laughs> oh, really, guys, you know? Okay, I was gonna say, the dough is almost better than the cookies, <laughs> but I know some of you out there will say, no, no, <laughs> the egg has the raw egg in it. And you're right. <laughs> so, we'll I'm not gonna it. talk about that. We'll turn off the camera and believe it. <laughs> yeah. But if you sneak some, it's okay. <laughs> Just remember, Glenna said you can. So now, this is best put in the refrigerator for a little while, right? Yes, they suggest putting this in the fridge. It kind of helps set it up. Okay. And then you can just mold it and do what you want and with it after. And make cookies with it. Yes. Ooh. Okay, so we'll cover this, put it in the fridge, and we actually have to run out a few places. So we'll see when we get back. We'll be back. <laughs> Several hours later, so we actually we ran to the temple, which was really fun, and so then fun. that was awesome. We went and picked up some pizza, ate that, got Anthony's. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. Came home to this little guy who's excited as you can be to see us. Jumping I know. At my feet. Hi. <laughs> he wanted to be in the vlog today too. He, thinks he loves Jared and Bridget. <laughs> smell right? the cookies. Super and jealous, bro. You guys, you got the cookie dough out of the fridge, and oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah, had plenty of time to just set right there. Yes, and I didn't eat any. Did you guys? <laughs> no, none. Of no, them. none. Oh, no. What we're gonna do? We're gonna take this chill dough and we're gonna make some little balls out of it so just kind of flatten them with this now this uh, dough the reason we put it in the fridge it's great also you guys for making like any different shapes you want like hearts flowers whatever mom look how sad an egg cookie cutter yeah, Brittany got those on Amazon and we didn't use them <laughs> no we'll take we'll those we'll take these for another year but yeah Yes, yeah, so that's what I mean. Just out. wait 363 more days. That's right. <laughs> so, how big? But like that's it? what we're talking about. Or the other thing, you guys, sorry, Bridget, just a second. Um, <laughs> with this little recipe book, also came some of those little stone stamps. 
Oh, you oh know, yeah, that is cool. Something yeah. Something with design. Yeah. So you can stamp it. So that's why these are kind of called molded sugar cookies too, because they're easy to mold. 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 Yeah. Cookie cutters. That makes yeah. sense. How's that little ball on that side? That's perfect. All right. You just make that ball as big we're as you want that cookie ready. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Well, luckily we just ate pizza and I'm feeling a little full. That's right, this is a good time to do this. You guys, look how smooth that is though. Like, yeah, the consistency, I love that. I think it's the Crisco that gives you that. Yeah, and so it's, you know, you guys can experiment oh, around. Oh, okay, let's just compare. <laughs> Brittany's cookie, Lana's cookie. <laughs> Like how, oh, okay. <laughs> It'll come off, see? Like about how thick do you want them? That's up to you. Let's see. They'll spread out a little bit probably, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you don't go down as far as I thought you'd go down. Nice. That makes sense, I guess. I like that. Yeah, perfect, Brittany. I like yeah. them a little thicker. They're a little more moist. It's kind of fun if there is, oh, whoops. If there is a little rim around there. Yeah, they're cute. Then the frosting. Oh, you go right inside. Kind of inside. Yeah, that's smart. Okay, so, Brittany. Now, so our oven is at 350. We will cook them between 10 and 15. Mm, okay. Around 10. Because Got you don't it. want the bottom to get too So, like brown. 12 or 13 minutes, you want to go yeah, to the peak. Yeah, they're definitely a chewy cookie. You want them to be kind of soft. You don't want them to be like crispy. No, they're not made. Oh, they look awesome. Yeah, that'll be good, you guys. All right. Okay. You ready? Put them on in. Jared just wondered how I got all this pink frosting. He thought this is the same pink cherry frosting from the cake. I fooled him. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually homemade, babe. Ooh. So this is a cream cheese frosting we made. Mm, it looks like it's a half a stick of cream cheese, a stick of butter, mm. lots and lots of powdered sugar, depending on your taste. We yes. A lot. Sounds like the ingredients for love. And then some vanilla extract and a little <laughs> bit of milk. And then I put this in the fridge to harden up, and now I took it out about, what, 20 minutes ago? Yeah. And now it's like at a really good consistency. It is spread. just like the other pink frosting. But you can obviously use any frosting you want. Wow. It smells really good too. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this, mom. Those are awesome. They're so cute. I love the little edges too, how they yeah. kind of have the little ring from the glasses. Going. Yes. Like a little lip there to have These the honestly frosting. look like Sugar cookies. Yeah, they really do. Yeah, I think you might have cracked the code. They're better. <laughs> oh yes, my gosh. That little lemon, huh? So how long do they have to cool for now? So we took them out a little early because we're going to leave them on here to cool so they'll finish baking a little bit. But my mom just said we didn't want the bottoms too round. Look at this, mom. Yeah, what do you think see. of that? I, I myself think that's perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. Yeah. This honestly looks so good. drive through mom. Maybe really? you guys, if we open up our soda shop, we could serve yes. Glenna's sugar cookies there. Yeah. Wow. That's, a good idea. That's a genius idea. I know. We talked about this a long time ago, but then as you guys know, stuff happened. But we have not this yet. is feeling good right now. We had, you know, just a few big life changes <laughs> happened last few months, so <laughs> we haven't gotten around to our yeah. store shop. <laughs> but, I do think this would be awesome with it. Look at the bottom of that. We let them cool up for a little bit. Still a little soft. Yes. And now, oh Ooh, my gosh. Oh, pretty. We got our frosting on here. Wow. Look that, okay. <laughs> this looks like a swig shirt yeah, cookie really right does. now. It really does, yeah. Yeah, it really does. Does it not? Look that's how darling that is. That is hilarious. Mom, you guys make these. Also, I should mention, we did not have to grease the cookie sheet. Now I do have kind of a non-stick cookie sheet, but usually I grease it, but with the Crisco on these, my mom said, mm -mm. you really don't have to. And I didn't they, really think you would. And they slid just right off. All I have to say is crumble who, swig who, <laughs> they've got nothing on Glenna. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Thank you, mom. <laughs> I will put the recipe down in the comments. Should we try it? Yeah. Mm. Oh my mm. gosh. Tastes good? Swig level? So good. I want Better? to taste one, baby. You can yeah, have okay, deal. Yeah. Tastes a little bit to taste it, huh? Yeah. That was really good. 
Is that not so good? Well guys, I think that is gonna do it for us tonight because we're gonna dig into these and I don't know if you noticed the time, but it's pretty late. It now. is late, it's almost, <laughs> it is 11 p.m. at yeah. night now. Oh wow. <laughs> so we're gonna dig in these, get a big glass of milk. You guys, if you make these, let my cute mom know, but thanks for hanging I'm out with really us. Not. In the kitchen today, this you. is such a fun. That was fun. My, right. my mom. It's, anyways, now we get to have this forever and ever. We haven't done that for a long time. I know. That was fun. Yes. We love you, and we'll see you all next time. See you guys. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye.